Hello Capricorns. We're going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Estimating a couple of weeks. Let's see what's going on. I do have a raffle going on right now too. If you donate a dollar, you get a raffle ticket. And on the 22nd, I'm going to choose somebody for a uh, 30 plus minute in-depth private video reading from the raffle. So my cash app and PayPal info is below. You can also book a private reading with me too if you want. My prices and my email address are all listed below. All right, so what's going on with your person? Let's make a love story here. Make your move, green light. Ooh, this is good energy. Got, oops, sorry. Make your move, green light, honeymoon, adventure, vacation, love offer, commitment. This is lots of good energy. Domination and control, what's that about? X, the past. All right, I'm gonna pull all these cards out and look at it together. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, hidden truth coming out here. Maybe regarding the X, truth and clarity, choose a path, sex, seduction, hmm. lots of new, lots of, mostly good energy here, mostly good, lots of romance coming into your life now or in the near future, Set, uh, reconciliation, okay, let's move this over a little. There we go. Can I get a few cards to clarify? <laughs> I guess so. Natural, authentic, real, organic. Okay. See, you have you have love coming in here. I really feel love that's either just come in or coming in really strong. It's like a new, exciting, passionate, romantic relationship. Like lots of sex, lots of it's good energy. Let's see what's going on. That death will come. Mortal, finite, fragile. Okay. Hmm. It'll be a fragile situation here. Ecstasy, yielding, rapture, bliss. See, the ecstasy energy is coming through strong in this reading, like this new love that's coming in, or it could be an ex coming back around. I'm going to have to look at these cards and, and channel and look into it, but it could be something with the color green for some of you, like butterflies, green jewels, something some kind of message here, some kind of synchronicity with green. But yeah, ecstasy is coming through strong for this reading where it's like, you're just, you're going to be happy with this person. Like you guys are just going to be excited. You're going to not be able to get enough of each other. Flaws, contradictions, mistakes. What else? What do you want to say about that? Mavic risk taker, rule breaker. Yeah, so they're gonna love the things about you that like other people maybe were intimidated by, or like they're just gonna get you on a, on more in ways. Yeah, I got the same card again. <laughs> they're just gonna get you, you know. You're gonna get them. Okay, I don't want that many cards. Ambition, extension, reach. Yeah. Energy, newness, vitality, eternal youth. Just yeah, new energy, new love here for sure. It's really strong. Really coming out with this group. All right. <laughs> So we've got choose a path, we've got reconciliation, we've got, what do you want to do here? See, this is going together, this hidden truth is coming with this, see? That's really interesting, that truth, hidden truth and truth and clarity, they're right next to each other, so the truth is coming out, definitely. I think that's what I'll look into for this reading after I, I tell you what these cards mean, I'm going to look into this truth that's coming out. It's really interesting because for every earth sign, I've gotten like pretty much similar energy. I think all your earth signs are kind of in that same energy where you have someone from the past who might be like a little bit toxic trying to come back around. And then you're going to have this new love. And again, this could also be someone from the past that's coming that was good for you maybe in the past and you guys just separated due to circumstance and they might be coming back around with a love offer. But this is positive. This is all mostly really good energy except for this this other energy here, which is like another ex or somebody that's might maybe was 
dominant or controlling, or maybe you just have some some damage because somebody controlled you in the past, and so when things move kind of fast, maybe you get a little bit scared because you don't want to lose yourself to another relationship. You don't want to be trapped or smothered. You don't want to be with somebody who's negative and controlling. Like you're trying to use discernment because I think that this person that's coming in, they're going to be coming in really strong. And they're going to be, you know, presenting this love offer and they're going to be, it's like an alpha male type, inner, like type energy or female, you know, whatever, whether it's, whether, you know, your preferred gender is male or female, but it's like somebody who's, who's strong, who's confident, who's sure, who's going to be planning dates, you know, making that move. And I think that even though you're going to love it and you're going to be excited about it, I think maybe for some of you, maybe not all of you, but for some of you who have been kind of dominated or controlled in the past or had like kind of negativity like that, you might misunderstand that energy. And so you're going to want to kind of test the waters because you're like, why is this person moving so fast? Or why is this person like, like you're not going to be used to it, you know, like it might just be a lot um, because it's going to be, again, moving really quickly, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, where it's like maybe you just meet this person and you're like, okay, wait, what, what? <laughs> Like just a lot, um, a lot all at once, basically. And so you're going to have to use your intuition to decide if this is, um, you know, a repeat of your past or if this is, this is new energy, your future. For the most of you, I, th I think this is actually pretty good energy is what I feel. But again, you might also have this X. Um, could be da it could be just be, be damage from an ex. It might not even be that the ex is coming back around for some of you. It could just be damage. And so when this new person comes in, you're going to have to work through that and use your intuition to decide if you can trust this. Um, it does feel like a good energy to me, though. For others, you might actually have an ex that's going to be coming back around, and then you're going to have to choose a path. For a lot of you, I do think that there is an ex coming back around because we've got, we've got fast-moving energy here. And then I need to look into what this truth is because there was a truth that was hidden from you. And is this the X? Is this hidden truth about the X? It's about the new person. It's like a no maybe. So for some of you, it's the new person that's just going to be completely open and vulnerable with you and telling you all about their life. For a lot of you, though, I think it's this X. I think it's this X that's, that's going to tell you the truth about something. choose a path you know fast moving energy just coming in quick they're going to be opening up telling you the truth um wanting this reconciliation with you wanting to wanting to have this new start so you're going to be choosing between two people i think i also feel a very sexual energy with this one i think this is like because this is somebody who like claims you like look at the way they're like holding each other like just looking at each other like claiming each other you know he's offering her this rose like just knowing what he wants knowing that he wants you or that she wants you however whatever your story is um you know just that like that certainty that clarity um wanting to make this commitment and I see it's like a very sexual relationship too not in a negative way like I think the emotion and the passion will be there too but I think this is going to be a very strong um physical attraction here as well. I think this is somebody that you're just not going to want to keep your hands off of. Um, and I see them wanting to take you on a vacation or honeymoon or um, some kind of adventure. Like they're wanting to like, start, like just, they're wanting to, I feel like maybe some of you haven't like, maybe, maybe you're stressed or like you haven't been able to like go and live life a lot or like you haven't gone many places or something like that. But I see this person like, as you guys open up to each other, I see them wanting to take you on vacations. I see them wanting to, um, like, show you new life experiences is kind of what I'm getting here. And it's very, again, lots of sexual energy here. Lots of, um, lots of sexual energy between you guys. Lots of physical attraction between you guys. But then we also have the ex that's wanting to come through with this, this truth and reconcile with you. So lots of fast moving energy where it's like you're going to be kind of caught in this middle where you're going to be like, oh my God, what do I choose? Like, what do I choose? Show me three cards for the ex and three cards for the new person. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. Hesitation and mixed feelings. Ugh. Maybe they left you in the past or there was like some kind of hesitation. Um... 
or it was like there was like a power struggle, like you were chasing them or they were chasing you, but never on the same page at the same time. There was always some kind of like hesitation. And then, you know, now they're wanting to come through and, and choose this is risk reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Let's see the new person though. What's up with the new person? Waiting, hoping, praying. See, I think this like you've been praying for this ex. Because I think it's kind of telling a story here. It's like you were kind of praying for this ex to like get past his or her fear of commitment to to commit to you, to, to claim you. And this new person is just already going to be loyal and stable. They're already going to know for sure that they want you. They're already going to claim you. It's not going to be something that you have to fight to convince them of. You know what I mean? They're just automatically going to be making these vows to you. Um, it's not something you're going to have to be waiting for. You're not going to have to like, you know, look at her. She's like longing out, staring out the window longingly, you know, waiting, hoping, praying for love, hoping her person, his or her person comes back around or they, they wake up or they realize what they have in front of them. And it's like, there's fear of commitment there from your person with this other person. It's like, they're already just going to be loyal and stable and grounded and, and confident and sure of sure that they want you, you know, it's not going to be something you have to convince them of. Let's look into this hidden truth though. Let's look into this hidden truth that the ex wants to reveal. Nostalgia, longing that they miss you. Yeah. Overthinking, overanalyzing that they sabotaged it. Vulnerability basically like, Oh, I sabotage things. I, you know, we miscommunicated, like, I, I missed you, I'm nostalgic for you, I want to, I want us to reconcile. Being more open with their emotions when maybe in the past they weren't as open with their emotions, maybe that's the truth. Maybe that they've been trying to manifest you back into their life, maybe using magic, you know, intention. Maybe they're just like, they couldn't get over you kind of thing. Taking it slow, pulling them in. Divine intervention, open, honest communication. Maybe kind of coming through with like, like, I love you, I miss you, I want you, but let's take it slower this time. Um, you know, maybe, maybe noticing the signs, feeling like they were led back to you. I'd personally go with the new person though. I mean, I'm not saying the ex is horrible. Like, I'm not saying, I don't know if they're necessarily like a bad person, but this new person, it's like a really exciting, fun, like just loving relationship where it's like you're just taken care of. Like this is somebody who might even like financially provide for you too. I kind of get that energy. It's like this is, this is, this is like an alpha male or female energy. It's like somebody who's like a provider, somebody who's a protector type, somebody who's just like more, just way more sure of themselves, way more sure of who they are and, um, and what they want. Definitely like just somebody who's. I don't know, I just get a, a more confident energy from this person. You know what I mean? It could also be that maybe you have been putting the intention in and using magic to try to pull this ex back to you. And, you know, see how, like, how this person's like seductive, like they're standing in their power, they're pulling, they're using like love drawing um, or vision boards or whatever it is, putting that intention into the universe to bring their ex back to them. And then it's like, maybe you have, maybe that love drawing energy is, is going to manifest this new person instead. And you're going to be like, oh, wait, this is actually kind of better than what I originally wanted. And so you're going to have a choice to make. Yeah, because this is, your ex is like, maybe a soulmate, but it's like a soul contract that you kept repeating. Okay, can you, can you give me a little more detail about the truth being revealed? What's the truth? Publicity, social media, spying on you, watching you, maybe the truth is going to be revealed on social media. Pause, reflection, rest. Hmm. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Just noticing your, your beauty more club, social life, party. It could be you're meeting somebody there too. Or maybe you've had, you know, that's where you guys used to go, clubs, parties. Maybe there's like a certain place or event. Maybe they're kind of stalking you a little bit. I feel like, I feel like the hidden truth is like excuses mostly to be honest. Like, hey, I left because of this or I did this or I said this because of this and this and this. And it's like, it's excuses. So the hidden truth I feel that's going to be revealed is probably your ex like telling you, you know, that they love you, they miss you, they're nostalgic for you, blah, blah, blah. Um, maybe apologizing, but like kind of, 
I still sense the energy of them like making excuses for themselves though like oh I had to leave because of this or I had to I had to you know I wasn't ready for you or I had you know like just still making excuses and not fully taking responsibility for how badly like they how they ghosted you or how they treated you or whatever it is that they did um and again it's this love drawing energy like I think you're I think you've been drawing love to you I think that you've been do like intent I don't know if it's intentional or not but you've done doing some love drawing um, and I think that this is going to like bring a couple, at least a couple people in all at once, if you're not already talking to these people. So yeah, it's like, I think you are going to manifest that X back. You know, I think that you are going to manifest communication with them. But, but like I said, you have this other person where it's like, uh, where is that freaking card? <laughs> Okay, I can't find it. <laughs> I was gonna, oh, there we go. <laughs> so you have this other person who is, um, you know, it's like, it's sexual, it's it's romantic, it's passionate. They're gonna wanna explore the world with you. They're gonna wanna take you out to do fun things. They're gonna be sure about you. Maybe even so sure that it kind of scares you a little bit because you're not used to com someone coming on so strong. But it's like, you manifested this, so... You're going to have to make this choice. I'd personally go with this energy. This feels way better to me. This this adventure, this passion, this romance, this feels way better to me than the ex who could not decide whether they wanted to keep you or not. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And again, there, I have a raffle going on and my details are below if you want to enter that. I also do paid private reading. So all my info is below. Thanks for watching.